All right, thanks for checking out our channel here. This is going to be maybe a repair video on a uh, module or circuit board uh, out of a Gallagher S17 or S22. I think it was an S17. Uh, we had sold the guy, I believe, a new board uh, for his unit, and he wanted to try to get his old board fixed. And I think this older board, I think we've worked on before, um, his note says... Suddenly stopped working. No red light. No discharge. We'd like to, we'd like to have this board as a spare, and if it's not too expensive. Well, if it's not if it's fixable, shouldn't be too expensive. But it said it doesn't pull, so come on at all. So now we're, so now we gotta figure out what the hell that, what the hell's wrong with that. So this is a six volt solar unit. We've put a new transformer on it at some point in time. We can see it's been soldered on these four joints right there that's that's one that we've put on for the guy um, let me find uh, I need a, a plug to go on there um, I had one here not, the long, not too long ago but can I find it now hell no all right let me uh, I said it somewhere it's got to find it um, Sitting up here real quick. Don't waste too much time digging. All right. Well, we're just gonna do it the old-fashioned way because I don't know. I don't see it up top either. So it's here somewhere. I can always get another one, but I don't want to spend six bucks for a lead. So I'm just gonna set this to uh, six volts. Now, when the board is sitting here on the table, there's a toggle switch right here. Down is on, up is off. Because when it's in the unit, it's sitting like this. And the front of the unit is right here. So up, you know, like it looks here, up is on and down is off. Because the board's upside down inside the case like this. But when it's sitting on the table, down is on, or down is off, and up is... Oh, God. Down is on, up is off. So let's see if I can get the these prongs on here. I'm gonna just kind of touch it here. Hmm. Look at that. Hmm. Stop working. No red light. No discharge. Well, what do we have here? There's a little light bulb. Right to the big LED right there. Look at that. Oops. Well, sir, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Discharging? Oh, yeah, look at that. Hmm. Okay. So what this customer's probably got going on is either their battery's junk or the battery's okay, but the battery terminals where the wires plug on the battery, one of those could be really corroded. Which I would have thought if he opened it up, he would have saw the battery. Because when you open up the case, the battery, the battery sits at the bottom, the board's up inside. And you'll see the battery sitting right there. Now if he's like, well, I replaced my battery and I put a new connector, a spade connector on, on my wire. Well, what can still happen, you cut the connector off, you stripped it back, and there's still some corrosion up on that wire. So the, the, you know, the corrosion, the wire could be, you know, it might be a foot and a half long. And like four inches of it could be just have a layer of corrosion all the way up it. And that, that energy, the voltage is not going to be, the amperage, whatever you want to call it, isn't going to be able to travel up that thing to get to the, the, the plug that goes on the board. So he probably needs to cut the connector off and start cutting back that wire and stripping it back every so often and looking for a good, shiny metal uh, section. If the wire's too short, splice, you know, crimp on a butt connector or whatever and put a six inch piece of wire extended on there and then crimp the 
spec and strong on that, but also test your battery and make sure it's over 6 volts. These um, F-17s, um, voltage-wise, uh, they run on a 6-volt battery, fully charged. The battery is about 6, 4 to 6, 6, 6, 7 with a good, accurate meter. Um, if it's getting real close to 6 volts, like 6, 1, 6 volts on the dot, it will still run. It still flash. It'll just be really slow, like every three, four, five, six seconds in between each pulse. When it should be like every one, one and a half seconds in between each pulse. This was pulsing right on the money. My, my power supply set six point five volts, so it was running fine. Once it gets below six, like five nine, five eight, it will it'll flash and click, but it'll be like minutes before it flashes again. And uh, you know, most people like, won't stand long enough to watch it. And by the time they, they turn around, it's flashed again. And but it gets below that, it just won't. It usually flash once and stop, and it won't run again. So he's probably got either a bad battery, a bad wire content, you know, connection, or the wire itself is bad. And I, I he just needs to probably either get a new wire or start trimming back. And I'll have to just have to talk to him about that. So, but other than that, <laughs> nothing wrong with it. It works fine. Let's we'll do a let's do a um, thorough check. Let's do a. Uh, load test on it stuff this is a point uh, the way it's set up with this the point one seven store joule so it's probably like point one output you know joule wise so not a not a uh, knock you to the ground kind of shock but you know these for what these are designed to do they do the job they're supposed to do so um, they're a good little unit. The S17s were really, really well made. They're around for 20, 20 years with it, so they wouldn't have kept making it for so long. It, they thought was junk. Okay, let's get our. Fancy leads out, a fancy meter out. And we're going to look at peak voltage, no load. And we're going to go across the uh, two terminals here on the output right over here and here. This is going to, we're going to watch this number. This should probably be right around 7. Nope. 7 kV. And then we're going to put a 500 ohm load on it. This should drop down around 2.8. Two to two and a half. Yeah, two point two, and we're at zero point nine joules. So a point, so basically, right, looking at nine cents. If you're looking at pennies and dollars, this is a seventeen cent output unit or, or, or store joule unit. So the output joule is always going to be lower than what the store joule is. So uh, we're looking at seventeen cents stored. Nine cents output. If that helps you out. So if we go much, if we if we go to a 200 ohm load, we're just going to kill it because we're already at the we're already below three kV. So we're going to really drag it down. Let's put a thousand ohm load and see if it's any higher than that. Probably not, but we're going to try and see. Yeah, we're at one point or point one one. So it's a uh, point one one output joule. So. Store joules is um, uh, 17 cents or 0.17 joule, and the output joule was 11 cents or 0.11 joule. You're like, well, that ain't a whole lot. Yeah, it ain't a whole lot, you know, but put your fingers across there and let it spark to you like that. Yeah, it ain't going to hurt, like, terribly, but your body is not going to be able to hold it at one time because it's going to feel like a, a little jolt up both the arms and bounce off the finger god dang you know you kind of rub your arms for a second didn't hurt but psychologically you're not going to like it so trust me been there done that on well, even a little unit they'll get your attention in a hurry so yeah, i'll see nothing wrong we'll, we'll try some little labor and some freight but that's that's it and just run through some th things with them about what he's got going on there battery wise and solar panel wise and Everything else, but other than that, it's nothing wrong with it. it. Works fine. So, all right. Well, thanks for checking us out. Until next time, see you guys later on. Have a good rest of your day.